Fit and 10 Nation. It is day 28 of the Fit and 10 Challenge. Uh, and in fact, actually, it's almost the end of day 28 because it's about 7.30 here on Saturday evening. And I just had meetings. And of course, we had the workshop this morning and I had clients. So um, my apologies on the tardiness of this video. But listen, thank you to everybody that came out today to the workshop. I'm going to talk about half of what we talked about today. And so that being the energy balance equation, all right? So basically the energy balance equation says this. Calories in should equal calories out if we want to maintain our body weight. Okay, if we want to gain weight, we need to take more calories in than we are expending. Okay, so more calories in than calories are going out and vice versa if we're trying to lose weight. So is this true? Yes, it is true, but I don't want you to get so wrapped up in it because it's more complicated than that, all right? So in a nutshell, there's a few takeaways I want you to have on this, okay? Well, let me say this first, okay? Calories in comes from food, right? Calories out comes from four different things. Your basal metabolic rate, okay? The energy that it takes to sustain you um, basically keep the lights on. Okay, your non-exercise activity thermogenesis, so day-to-day -day activities, okay, the amount of energy it takes to do day-to-day -day activities. Your exercise activity, okay, energy that you expend doing exercise, and then of course, the thermic effect of food, okay? So we, wanted, we want to, of course, create some level of deficit so that we can burn fat, but we want to do it in a strategic fashion whereby we don't affect the metabolism too much, okay? So, how do we do that? We make small adjustment on calories. We make small deficits with respect to calories. And we keep foods and the right types of exercise in that will keep the metabolism running as inefficiently as possible. Okay? So, when it comes to deficit with food, we make small deficit, not large, or else if we do make a large deficit, we create an, an energy gap which the body's gonna want to close, and the way it will close it is simply by reducing its metabolism. We don't want this, okay? Because the metabolism can't just shoot back up, okay? Especially if we do it long, if we do uh, low calories long term, okay? Um, on the flip side of things, um, you know, we want to be having foods that are gonna give us the most thermic effect, so things like protein and fiber, those each take up about 30% each of the total thermic effect of food. All right, so lots of protein and fiber. Um, and we wanna be doing the exercise that's going to elicit the most metabolic um, inefficiency, okay? That being weight training, as well as um, short bursts of cardio that are very intense, all right? Doing long duration, low intensity is only teaching the body to be more energy efficient over time and um, that's just not in your interest, okay? Remember, we're always thinking long-term, all right? Okay, so small deficits in your calories and lots of weight training and high-intensity cardio, okay? Keep that in there, oh, and protein and fiber, okay? There's your takeaway. We talked a lot about, we, we talked much more than just that, but that's the takeaway. All right, okay, message of the day. Take action, be determined, eliminate the unnecessary. Take action, be determined, and eliminate the unnecessary, okay? Get rid of everything in your life that's holding you back, okay? We wanna propel forward, we wanna evolve, we wanna be better human beings, right? We wanna be better at what we do, we wanna work towards goals, and we want to um, ultimately uh, be able to support those around us and nurture an environment that helps us and others, right? So eliminate the unnecessary, be determined, and um, take action, right? Okay, all right, let's hit a peak check. Peak check, not bad, hey? Not too shabby. Yeah, there's always going to be a level of, um, well, you know, you gotta admire yourself somewhat, right? We gotta, we gotta have some fun in this. All right, you guys, submit, commit, and um, I will talk to y'all soon. Okay, send me your feedback forms. Feedback forms, okay? 
Go to www.trainomain.com slash fit and 10, go a page down and um, there's a button there for the feedback. I'm over five minutes. God! Talk to y'all soon.